so I managed to scare a couple of cigarettes from the neighbours which I then um, pulled apart and then rolled into smaller cigarettes um, and the filters I have are the poppy ones so I can go between normal smoking and menthol smoking so yeah me I did not want to buy cigarettes so I'm really happy I didn't very aware sometimes of like the level I speak at volume wise and there's this particular video I have absolutely no idea which one where it's really hard to hear me and I think it's because of how quiet I'm talking but I'm sitting in my front yard and as you can tell the sod's going down it's quite pretty in front of me so I don't obviously want to talk really loud I was sitting here thinking because thinking is what I do it's what most of us do I think though and um, as I said in the description I think it was literally one sentence in the description for my last video I was out here making a video and I was holding the phone and um, I dropped it and that's where the video stopped which was quite ironic given I'm fairly certain it was straight after I said that my mum told me that the people I call friends aren't actually my friends in case it got chopped off that's what I was saying I came out here originally to watch my last video while I have the cigarette but the same thing kept going around and around in my head and I was like it's a really big part of my story so I guess I need to tell it before I can go back and watch it I'm fairly certain in the last one I mentioned and I mentioned it yesterday too now mind you I am intentionally keeping myself pretty numb so that's hopefully going to give you the gist of where I'm at yeah um, though in all fairness to myself I'm keeping my medical team updated so yeah and I have emergency access to my doctor not that I need it I'm very safe I'm very numb um, so this thing that I mentioned that Sue had asked me to reach out and this morning it happened and I started writing it to her in a message but the overwhelm hit and I've only just realized since, since sitting down here which is why I decided I fucking really needed to turn my camera on that out of all the people in the world that I was talking to of course I should have sent the message at the exact fucking time it happened delaying it for those few hours was literally just putting that poor woman through more hell and yet I've only just been able to see that it was my overwhelm that caused me to stop and and transfer the, the message and not send it and yet I projected it onto making myself believe that it was because I didn't want to add overwhelm to her which obviously I didn't know at the time consciously but I'm very fucking aware of it right now because she sent me a message 
after I'd gone inside and um, uploaded this. And she asked me to, to think of Randy exactly as I know him and then surround him in beautiful bright violet light and to fill him full of love and that she will explain why when she can. And I obviously immediately responded saying, you know, of course I will do that right now. Um, and that's when I said to her, I've had a download of information. I didn't send it straight away because it was becoming long. I start, I was like, I started messaging it to you straight away. I said it kept getting longer. I said I was so worried I was going to cause you more overwhelm so I transferred it to a document to send when ready um, and then I briefly explained like in a sentence saying he wants you to know that this was all planned before time before he came to earth and was born so she responded send now please so I obviously did and in doing so it was like what the fuck Liv like 9 out of 10 people I mean have absolutely no idea what the fuck I'm on about yeah since I'm going to sit outside, I might as well turn my outside light on. I turned it on. I turned it off. Oh, fuck it. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Right. So, where am I? Nine out of ten people don't understand me. I'm pretty okay with that. Because the remainders, the one percenters... The one percent is a sort of Mr. X toy. Oh, the one percent is it's a little bit better, I guess. The one percent that does get me totally makes up for it, you know? Oh, it's fucking cold like that. Where's the light? Maybe I should move my fucking rubbish bin, hey? It can be like my little stand for me. My um, computer fucking stupid camera isn't really working because it's there's no sound. The, the, the fucking microphone's doing whatever it's doing, and I don't remember how to fix it at the moment. Might have something to do with not enough room on the damn thing. I don't fucking know. But um. Yeah, I, I, I obviously, I sent Sue what I had happened, like the information that was, like, not there and there the next downloads, like I said, that's what I've been calling them for the last six and a half years. Um, and clear cognates? No, I don't know. I'm the one where, I have lots of abilities right but it was only upon sitting down there and realizing all this fucking shit that i have realized there's no fucking water i'm all over the place and i'm overwhelmed and i'm just fucking whatever the fucking fuck yeah That's so is the f the first and only person that I can think of, truthfully, <sighs> hello Mr. Mosquito, please don't bite me and I won't kill you, it's a big fucker, it's right there.
she consciously asked me to channel to connect to the higher dimension and to channel information full disclosure I did not consciously connect and channel from my point of view she consciously and like she asked me to do it because this is where it gets fucking confusing especially for me because this is real life people this stuff that happens this connection these feelings these understandings i definitely am living them i'm experiencing them what happened and what happened what i saw and was able to see and understand and then relay to my friend's mom brought her something that she very much needed and i sure as shit don't make this stuff up that would be fucking disgusting on every level and you know like people with abilities to connect nobody believes because there's so many fucking liars out there out to make a fuck out to make this out to rip off vulnerable people i have been ripped off by so many people because i'm a trusting believing fucking vulnerable person but i also have abilities that i as it stands at the age of 36 and 255 days so i can keep track of exactly how old i am since i started these videos on my birthday have absolutely no idea how to do intentionally so if someone was to come in to me and be like live prove whatever you're saying i'd be like i don't fucking know what you want from me yeah i don't if i knew, if i knew how to do that i'd have won a lot of 10 times by now or more you know Whoa. I'm so off kilter at the moment, which, you know, given my, what it feels like, only real genuine friend right now, because he is the only person that truly made time for me, except for Grant and Andrew. Um... His mom. She asked me to do something that, like I said, I don't consciously know how to do any of it. But there are people out there who genuinely, genuinely do because there really is so much more going on than what we can see fucking intuition man i got my gas lighter thing that it lights easily oh i didn't think i'd need that intuition every time our higher selves they know they fucking know randy has made it real clear that we're not supposed to know why this happened yet what the only thing we need to do and this is what i shared with his mum is to focus on how much we loved him, how much we love him, how happy and fun and bright he made our lives by being a part of them. I am so grateful for my friendship with Randy for getting to meet his family for being able to help his mum in some small way <laughs> even though I don't really even understand how to, this is happening myself but it is
We are all connected. I'm going to keep saying it. Collectively, we need to rise above. We need to. But I'm focusing on love right now. I'm focusing on... on every single thing that I have to be grateful for. Thank you, Andy. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, all of you, who watch my stories, who send me the love, who help me remember that even in my darkest times in moments like today where I feel so completely and utterly alone that I'm I'm still surrounded with love Just because we cannot see the people we love who may not be a part of our lives or may have crossed over into the pure energetic frequency of love. It doesn't mean we're not connected. Love those people you love. That's, that's, that's what I'm going to take as my biggest takeaway. I love all of you. My family. My friends. My sister. I love you. My brother. I love you. Mom, I love you. Mr. X. I love you. And I feel so connected to you right now. If I close my eyes, it's almost as if I can feel your arms around me. And Randy, you're beautiful, amazing, clever, kind, caring, intelligent soul. I love you. Thank you for being a part of my life. Thank you for showing me that, that I'm worthy of having a friend exactly like I am. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.